Okay, this video is about how to find the files that are taking up the most disk space on a Macintosh. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a simple process, but it's very useful because otherwise, instead of, you know, going through the files manually and going delete, 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 it takes forever, uh, this will just scan your hard drive and you'll be able to tell where the largest files are in, in, a, in a second. You can delete a gigabyte, you know, I mean, it depends what kind of files you have on your computer, but you know you can delete very large file size you know very large file sizes size you know files that have large file size um, pretty quickly which will pretty much clean up your computer very very quickly so it's a time saver okay uh, and it also will show you your habits too okay so we are going to get a program called what size and we're gonna go up here and we're gonna go to download.com usually with Macintosh as we go to uh, we go to version tracker.com however Version Tracker has a newer version of this program, which you know costs some money, and because uh, the company has changed it. And but this one, this uh, download.com actually still has the older version, which doesn't cost any money, and it's it's a great program. So that's why I'm going here. So I suggest you go there, you know, quickly to get it, and, and you know before uh, download changes it as well. As well. Okay. So I uh, up here I searched for what size. It was all one word, and uh, we just click on download now and click on save file and then I usually save it in a, in a folder called program set of files I actually am running leopard right now so uh, I downloaded it before so I'm just replacing it but uh, so here's the here's the disk image DMG stands for disk image and I'll click on open and here's the disk image right here that's what it looks like it looks like a looks like a hard drive almost um, but it's a pseudo hard drive basically which means it's it's not really a real physical hard drive um, and to wait, you know, in case you're not familiar, in case you just switched from PC, it's pretty easy to install programs with Macintosh. All you do is when you double click on that disk image or click on open, as I just did in a browser that just downloaded it, uh, it comes up with uh, this. And usually it'll either say double click to install, like a Windows program, or most of the time it's just, it shows the icon of the program and you just drag it down and then drop it onto the applications section itself. And I can click replace. You know what? It's actually in use right now. Let's try that again, because it was already it was still installed on the computer. So we're gonna go back to what size? We're gonna go here, applications. We're gonna replace, and it's gonna replace it. And it's installed. So click on this way to list it. It's easier to find. See it on what size? You can actually when you install a program, you can actually drag it down, hold it. You know, click on it, drag it down, hold it, and then drop it into the. It's called a dock down here and that way it's always down there so you can just you know have to keep on going to applications to find it so it's what size click on open and this is the first time you open it sure okay open and now it shows you all the disk drives that are available these are actually you know again these are disk images you don't really need to do, you know you wouldn't really need to do that that actually has the same picture of an icon but that's actually a flash drive a USB drive you know one of those thumb drives you plug into the USB okay so what we're gonna do is gonna click on hard drive and what it's do, what it's going to do is it's going to scan the hard drive. It's a pretty large hard drive, 111 gigabytes, and so it's going to scan it and it's going to find out. You know, well, it's pretty much going to scan the whole thing and then determine the file size of each file, each folder, and then it's going to list it accordingly, from largest to smallest, top to bottom. Okay. Uh, and then there's two ways to view it. There's columns where you can view it down that way, but I like columns because that way it's easy to click on one, then you see the contents. Click on, go deeper into the tree until you actually find the actual file. And you can actually delete it from here, or you can go into the finder and delete it down here. So, uh, and if, when you delete stuff, you can click on Remeasure up here, and then it'll just uh, remeasure it, and it'll uh, tell you how much is left. Right now, down here, it says 111 gigabytes, 107 gigabytes used, available 3.54. So it's actually good I'm doing this because I should delete some stuff. It's best to have, well, optimally they say 25%, but you know when this is such a large hard drive, it's you know, a little overkill, but. I would say you know maybe 10 gigabytes or something like that. So, uh, but it's it still runs fine with this. But it's just best to have some space so it's the computer can breathe. So we are going to uh, pause this video because it'll take a while to to scan 111 gigabytes, and I will be back to show you uh, the rest of the process. It's pretty quick, but uh, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and uh, this is what I came up with. And uh, usually, so we go to users, and we go to Ian, and this shows where all my space is being taken up. You know, movies, music, pictures, library. So click on documents, and you have a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, let's say music, iTunes, 
iTunes Music, and then uh, you know a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, well, from Wisdom podcast, Anthony Robbins, and as you can see, they del they show that it goes all the way down to the file, the actual file itself. So this is a good way to find, you know, where all your stuff is being taken up, and. Uh, There's my videos, and you can just delete, you know, delete things manually. You can just right-click, move to trash, and then then you'll delete them. And then you can just hit remeasure, and it'll find out how much space you have left. And that's pretty pretty much it. Very very easy program to use. Very simple, and also extremely useful. Uh, and it's free. So that's pretty much it. That's how you find the largest files on your Macintosh, so you can get rid of them. And if you don't want to delete them this way, if you don't feel comfortable, then you can go down the Finder. And, uh, and then you can go through the process of uh, going to the hard drive, then go to the users, go to Ian, and then go through the same path as here, and then delete it here. For example, music, iTunes, iTunes, Alicia Keys, and you can right-click, move the trash. So pretty easy. All right. Anyway, that's it, and uh, enjoy. And remember, if you like the video, go ahead and click on subscribe to support the site. And also, don't forget to rate the video. Even if it's a three or four, it still helps.